everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my September reading wrap up. I'm gonna share every book I read in September with full reviews, full, harsh, honest book reviews. I'll give you my star ratings and all my thoughts. So watch for some book recommendations for fall or just to get some inspiration for reading in general or maybe you've read some of these books and you wanna see my thoughts. So let's just get into it. I only read seven books this month. My goal was to read 10. I obviously did not meet that goal. I have a goal to read 10 in October now. So. I think we can do it, <laughs> but that's what I said last month. The first book I read this month, I started off with a bang, is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This series has blown up recently. Jennifer Lynn Barnes became famous from the Inheritance Game series. I think these books were already in existence though. They now have a new cover than they used to have. And it was originally published in 2013. So it's been around a little bit, but now it's becoming more popular. There are teenage prodigies who help out the FBI. One is really good at reading emotions. One is really good at detecting lies or lying herself. Two of them are profilers and what's the other one? And the other one I think is really good at math. I think that's the one I was missing. The main girl's name is Cassie and she's one of the profilers. She's really good at reading people so she is contacted by the FBI to be in this secret group that helps them solve cold cases. She also has a cold case related to her family that she's trying to figure out. I will say that it was a lot more intense than I was expecting. This is about a serial killer that she's trying to catch. This kept me up one night and it was very suspenseful. I will say that. So if you are a little bit of a scaredy cat like I am, I would read it during the daytime but it was so fast paced to read. It was a phenomenal book. I think I rated it four stars. I think I'll definitely rate some future books in this series five stars just because I'm going to get more attached to the characters. I really like the characters in this book. And also I'm someone that really is interested in the mind and psychology. So seeing all of these teenagers have all these different abilities that are from your mind, not like brute strength abilities is really interesting because I'm really interested in psychology. So highly recommend the series. I want to pick up the second one. I haven't yet, but I definitely will soon. The next book I read, I don't have the physical copy anymore because I got rid of it at a used bookstore because it wasn't my favorite. I read Archer's Voice, which I know some people really love this book and I can appreciate that some people can like the book. This is about a boy named Archer. He was in an accident when he was younger. He can hear people though, but he can't speak to them. So he learned sign language to communicate with people and this girl shows him a town for her own reasons to be in the town. And she knows sign language, so they start communicating and and of course it's a love story. One of the main problems with it was that Archer was portrayed as this really naive man. There are reasons why he would be naive the way he was raised. However, I thought they portrayed him as someone that was way too naive, did not know anything about the world, did not know right from wrong, basic right from wrong, did not understand that. But I did not appreciate that. I was just really frustrated the whole time and I thought it was way too spicy for me. I will put that out there. I don't particularly recommend this book, but I know people that love the book. I like the representation of sign language because I love sign language. I feel like we need to know more sign language. So I really love the sign language community, but it really was not a huge part of the book as I felt like it should be. One other thing is that I don't like feeling stuck in one place and I felt like the setting really never moved around in the book. I didn't even rate it. I would probably rate it two stars just from my personal opinions. The writing wasn't terrible, but not my favorite. The next book I read, this is Nancy Drew Files Volume 1, so it's three short stories in one. This is supposed to be a young adult version of the Nancy Drew books that we loved when we were kids. It's by the same author. My assumption when I thought I was getting a young adult murder mystery or just a young adult mystery thriller in general from Nancy Drew is that it'd be higher stakes and more mature. It really did feel like I was reading a kid's book. Yes, the crimes were a little heavier, but it wasn't dealt with in a heavy manner. I'm not really sure if that makes much sense. There are other young adult books that I've read that deal with deeper topics and and I feel like it's more mature writing, but this one really just had childish writing. Yes, it was e easy to understand, but it really wasn't my favorite read because I felt like I was reading my middle school or elementary school Nancy Drew books. I think I'd rate it a two and a half. It's decent, but really it's not that entertaining to me. It's very easy to figure out the plot twist. It's just a really lighthearted read, even though it's supposed to be a mystery book. Okay, the next book I read, I guess it was just a month full of thrillers or mysteries. I read Ward D on my Kindle. This is by Frieda McFadden. This is about a medical student in her clinical rotation. She's on her psychiatry rotation and she is assigned to this locked psychiatric unit in the hospital. There's only one door that locks and all the patient's rooms are unlocked so people can roam freely. She has one overnight shift in this unit. Lo and behold, she knows one of the patients there. They have a backstory. There's a plot and scheming going on behind the scenes, but you don't know who's behind it. You just know that something is up with this unit. Normally, I don't like books set in one location, like I mentioned earlier, but really, this one kept me on the edge of my seat so much that I did not mind it at all. All of Freedom McFadden's books, I can just binge so easily. They're so easy to read, and I just love that about her books. She wrote The Housemaid. That's a really popular book by her. Okay, this is my favorite read of the month, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. 
five stars. Highly, highly recommend. Loved this book. Emily Henry has such beautiful writing. It's very poetic. Her word choice is just so beautiful. I don't really know how to describe it. It's like beautiful. This is about Nora Stevens, who is a literary agent, and Charlie Lastra, who's an editor. Nora has some beef with Charlie in the past, so you learn a little bit about that, but then Charlie kind of just goes away. Nora and Libby are sisters, and their relationship has been a little bit strained. So Libby decides to take a trip to Sunshine Falls with Nora. Nora was actually the literary agent on a really popular book that was supposed to be set in Sunshine Falls. So they want to go there, tour the town, see if it's really like the book. So they go for, to the town for one month, and lo and behold, who is there? Charlie Lastra. I love the small town vibes. I love the found family. The romance is really sweet. I love Charlie Lastra. And this was perfect for fall. It might not look like a fall book, but if you picture the town during the fall season, it is perfect for the fall season and fall reading. It gives you all the cozy vibes. There is some spice and language in this book. I did have to skip a few parts, but those parts are very easily skippable. It's just beautiful writing. This is one of my favorite Emily Henry books. I think Happy Place and Book Lovers are tied. Okay, the next book I read was Five Survive by Holly Jackson. Holly Jackson wrote the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series, so I had really high hopes for this because I really liked that series. This is about six friends who take an RV on their spring break trip, their RV breaks down, and then there's a sniper outside shooting at them. I know, kind of wild. The sniper said something like, tell me the secret or figure out the secret. There was some secret that one of the six people in the RV had that they had to confess for the sniper to stop. I read this three stars. It was good. The ending was really good. I really liked the ending. The reason it's not a four or a five stars is because it was just drug out too long. I knew I was getting into a book that was just set in an RV. I thought though we might have more scenes outside of the RV, but no. 98% of this book is set in the RV and I felt so stuck. It felt very monotonous. Okay, let's try this thing to get out of the RV. Oh, that didn't work. Let's try the next thing to get out of the RV. And there were so many times I just wanted to scream at them and say, try this, try this, and then you get out of the RV. I felt like they weren't using their noggins as much as they should have been. So it was frustrating. I know it was supposed to be frustrating for the reader, but it did get monotonous and just very repetitive. So that was what knocked it down a couple stars. However, I loved the ending. There's a little bit of like romance or just tension. That was kind of neat. The ending was really good, but it dragged out too long. It took a while to get into as well because yes, there are only six characters to remember, but the names really got confusing for me. I don't really know why. I was like, okay, this one's this person's brother and this one's boyfriend and this one's that. It was it took a little bit to get into. Okay, the last book I read was on my Kindle. This is on Kindle Unlimited. The whole Harry Potter series is on Kindle Unlimited. I read the first Harry Potter book a long time ago and I liked it. I just never kept going. I decided to pick it up again because it's very fall. I think Destiny Sidwell is going to read the Harry Potter series soon because it really is perfect for fall. Harry Potter is a wizard and he goes to wizard school. There's twists and turns along the way. Someone's trying to steal something within Hogwarts, which is a school, and he and his friends are trying to stop them from stealing it but you don't know who's trying to steal it there's plot twists it's very like cozy fantasy even though i know there are high stakes but it felt very cozy reading it i know the further we get along we have more of the friendship we have some more romance but really starting off it was great to build the relationships and build the friendships i rated it four stars because it was really good and i know that if i keep going i think i'll rate it five stars because i'll get more attached to the characters those are all the books i read this month i had a good reading month but i'm excited to have a better reading month in october because there's some books i have on my radar i'm really excited for the bible verse for today is Proverbs 16 3. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will be established. This verse is really encouraging when we are doubting ourselves or discouraged about any of the work we have going on in our life. Maybe that's actual work, like a job. Maybe it's school work. Maybe it's just with personal relationships. You feel like you're working so hard and nothing's going to happen anytime soon. But sometimes we're working so hard to better ourselves and improve our future. And yes, there's nothing particularly wrong in that, but we need to remember the Lord and commit to the Lord in His ways. I'm not saying every Everything's going to go right after that. But if we commit our plans to the Lord, we work towards his kingdom and bettering his kingdom rather than ourselves. We're going to feel more fulfilled and more joyful and we're going to be doing the Lord's work along the way. So that's just a really simple verse that's really encouraging. I hope you enjoyed this video and got some book recommendations. If you have any recommendations for me, I would love that. You can comment that down below. I hope you'll have a wonderful, wonderful day and be a blessing to others today. Bye guys.